the Canadian Card Collector here, and welcome back to day 126 of your daily deck review. And the deck that we're taking a look at today is the Blue Knights from Illusionist. So, no further ado, let's take a look and see what we get. Here we have the Blue Knights from Illusionist here in a matte blue tuck box here. So it is a matte finished tuck box here. In a dark like blue colorway here with some silver like foiling here on the tuck box on the front here you've got a like a min minimalist design here with just two horses here with a sword going down the middle with a little shield there with the illusionist e there on the side you just got some like chest pieces so you got like the queen the bishop the knight, the rook, and the pawn there. And then on the other side, you've got the same thing, those same pips, I mean the same chess pieces there, and that the same silver foil there. Then on the back, you got a knight with the knight's logo there. With like the horses there, and then that like other kind of design behind it in that same like, silver foiling there and it is embossed so you can feel like, the texture of it there on the bottom you got created and distributed by the illusionist banker company and the illusionist logo there these were manufactured in belgium and that's slightly embossed here you can feel that and on the top it says knights there in that same silver foiling there and if you open the tuck flap here, on the inner tuck flap, you got a bunch of silver like foiling there. Then you got the four pips, the spades, diamonds, hearts, and clubs there. And then nothing on the inner tuck flap, just the blue colorway. If I take the cards out of the box, on the inside tuck box, it is fully custom here, as you can see. On the little tuck flap, on the inside of the tuck flap, you got the knight, the horse, the pip, the horse chest piece there. And then for the rest of it, you got like a checker pattern all the way through the tuck box. So it's a blue and like silver foil checker pattern all the way through the inside of the tuck box, which is really unique. It's nice to see custom interiors of tuck boxes. You don't usually see them too often on tuck boxes but it's always nice to see it's an added bonus to the tuck box always makes the deck a, that a little much better just to have that little extra detail on it now that i took a look at the tuck box time to take a look at the cards and first we'll start with the back design here we have the knight's back design here where it is just a bunch of just a bunch of chess pieces all over the tuck box in a blue metallic ink here with the standard white border going around and it is a mirrored back design as you flip it around and it's pretty much the same design in both directions here and you got all those different chess pieces like the knights the heart the knights the pawns the bishops and the queens there and the kings you got all the and the rook. You got all the ch chess pieces there, just repeating all, over the time in the, that blue metallic ink once again. Well, now that we've seen the back design, time to take a look at the cards. And here you get two identical jokers that both say Joker there in that blue colorway there, and they both have the a chess piece there. Uh, I'm not entirely that might be the rook or the knight. No, not the knight, the rook or the queen or something. I'm not entirely sure. With a, it has like a crow on top of it there. So it has the chest piece tipped over with the crow there and the blue joker lettering there. And then for the two extra cards here, you've got 
Look, the two horses there in the blue colorway there. And then they, one of them has a 4 and an R. And then the other one has a 9 and an M. Just the back design on the back. So these are two extra cards. And then we got the custom Ace of Spades here. We have, you can see the pips here. So they're pretty much standard like spades is pips there. And then you got Knights, Madison, and Ramsey. So this was, this deck was in collaboration with Daniel Madison and Chris Ramsey. So that's what these cards are, are kind of. Like the R for Ramsey and then the M for Madison. And then you got that same kind of like design that you've seen on the back of the tuck box there. Where it has like the horses there was the well, shield kind of and then the sword. And then that other kind of design behind it. And then it says the Illusionist Playing Card Company at the bottom. And then the rest of this, the pips here are, are like pretty much standard spade design here. There's a slightly smaller pip there in the middle of the card there. And a smaller standard pip there. All the way through. And then you got the court cards, the Jack, Queen, King of Spades here. And they're pretty standard court cards here. It was in a, a blue, black and blue, black and white colorway there, and, and the only other difference is the king here has an actual like face here, so it's an actual person's face. I'm not entirely sure who it is, but if I could make any guesses, I would say it's David Blaine. So it's a custom face, but I'm not entirely sure. It could be like another magician. But it, to me, it kind of looks like David Blaine. And then the rest of the, the Jack and Queen are just standard. And we've got the diamonds here. They're like a slightly custom diamond shape there. And they got a red, they still got the red colorway. And it has a black border going around. And that goes for the rest of the pips here. And then the Jack, Queen, and King of Diamonds here. Here are the standard court cards, standard faces, except for the king, once again, it has another custom face there. But I'm not entirely sure who that one is. And then they're still in that blue, black, and white colorway there. And the, I guess the three diamonds got misplaced. And we get the clubs here, Jack, Queen, and King of Clubs. We've got the standard court cards, standard faces. Well, I guess the queen has the standard face. And Jack and the king are custom faces here. But they're still in that blue and red. You know, blue, black, and white colorway there. And then for the clubs here, you've got a, pretty much a standard club design there. And then for the court cards here, the Jack, Queen, and King of Spades here. I mean, no, hearts here. We've got that same, like, heart design. Okay, okay now I'm back. Yeah, for the hearts here, the Jack, Queen, and King of Hearts. You've got the standard court cards. Standard faces, except for the King of Hearts. Which is another custom face there. I'm not entirely sure who it is. To be honest, I'm not, I'm not gonna guess there, but anyways, there's standard, yeah, standard faces, standard court cards, except for the king once again, and they're in that blue, and they're in the blue and white and black colorway there, and then the hearts here are just that slightly custom heart design with the red colorway with the black border, and that goes throughout the rest of the hearts there. Well, now that we've seen the cards, time to take it. Well, now that we looked at the cards, time to test the handling. And first, we'll start with the springs. Let's move those.
Well, for the cards for the springs here, it's like a slightly thicker stock of a card. So it's safe to put a little bit more pressure into springing these, like bending them to get them to spring. Let's put a little more effort into it. Because they are slightly like stiffer of a cards. But they're still pretty smooth springs. Like they're not like the smoothest. But they're still pretty smooth. There's like no real issue. Other than them being slightly stiffer. But other than that, no real issues. Now on to the fans. Well, as you can see, they spread nice and evenly here. You can see most of the pips and numbers here. There's really no clumpiness or stickiness to them. They fan almost perfectly every time. So no real issues with the fans. Now on to the fair. The fair was nice and smooth there, no issues there, and they interlocked and weaved together nice and smoothly there. Now we're a giant fan of the back design. Now for that reverse fair. The reverse row still pretty smooth there. I kind of had to slightly push them together, but they weaved and interlocked nice and evenly there. Still. Now for a giant fan of the faces. And now time for the river shuffle or bridge shuffle. Well, there's no real issues other than the one I messed up there at the beginning. And the riffle shovels and bridge shovels feel pretty smooth. There's no real issues there with them. Unless you mess up just like that, then they won't be smooth. But they seem pretty smooth if you get it down right. So no issues with the riffle shovels or bridge shovels there. Now... Time for a few packet cuts.
Well, now time for the one-handed cut, or surely a cut. Well, there was no, not two, no, no, yeah. The pack of cuts, oh yeah, weren't that bad, other than the fact that they, the cards are a little bit slippery. So, I was trying not to drop them while doing the pack of cuts, but other than that, there was pretty smoothly. Now for the dribble. Well, the dribbles seem pretty smooth there. No issues there. Now on to that spread fan. And lastly, spread the cards on the table. Well, overall, I gotta say, a, nice, a pretty nice deck from Illusionist here. I like the use of the metallic ink for the back design here. And I like the colorway of it, like the blue and the white. It just stands out and pops. Pretty nice there. You got those pretty standard phases here but yet slightly still slightly custom there which is nice and i like the use of all the the chest pieces here on the back design so overall not a bad deck and they handle pretty fantastic they're not like 100 percent perfect but they're still pretty good nonetheless they still handle Pretty good for your average shuffling here. So with that said, that's all I gotta say for this review. This has been day 126 of your daily deck review. This has been the Blue Knights playing cards from Illusionist. And I'm the Canadian Card Collector signing out. That's the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.